Today I'm going to share with you a free retirement planner tool that you can use to input your own numbers and make the best of your future retirement. So here we go. We've got uh, the flexible retirement planner. I will leave a link down in the notes to where you can download this. Uh, absolutely free. I have no um, involvement with this company. It's just a free plan. I don't know. You can uh, subscribe to things that uh, probably go into more in-depth uh, evaluations, but uh, this is great. This is a nice site, nice tool that you can use to plan your uh, retirement with your own numbers, your own expenses, your numbers, not someone else's. So I'm just going to walk you through just a hypothetical um, uh, situation here. Up here you just enter your information like current age is 44. Let's say I want to retire at 62. Let's say my life expectancy is 90. Um, I'll leave inflation alone. Uh, investment income tax rate, I'll leave that alone. Um, and what you'll input here would be what is in your uh, investment accounts now. So if you have a taxable portfolio, you can throw uh, that amount in there. I'm just going to throw in $5,000. And let's say it. Uh, if you had a tax deferred like a, a traditional IRA, that's where you would put here. Um, I'm very simple, so I'm just going to, all I have is a taxable account and a tax free. So I have a Roth. Um, these aren't my numbers, but this will give you an idea of how this tool works. Uh, so I'll say I'll have $10,000 in a Roth IRA. And down here, it, it, it asks you to input what you save every year. Let's just say I max out that Roth every year. You can max out at $6,000 a year, I believe, unless you're over 50. And then you can, uh, I think they give you another 1000 Don't quote me on that. But let's just input $6,000. Um, taxable savings. Let's just be conservative and say I put 2400 bucks a year into the taxable account. Now here uh, you can choose your investing style. You can go S&P 500 only. They have a return average of 12%. Um, I believe that's a little that's a little a little hot in my opinion so I'll go aggressive and it has an average return of 10%. They say it's a 70% uh, U.S. stocks, 7% bonds, 23% international. Um, and then if you have any retirement income, say at, uh, when you retire, will you have any income? Now let's just say uh, I'm still around and still doing YouTube videos and I make a few hundred bucks a, a month on YouTube. Okay, so let's put in $3,600 and let's just just for sake of simplicity let's say that starts at age whoops let's say that starts at age 62 and me personally um, I use today's numbers um, like annual retirement spending uh, I have it planned out uh, and we can live pretty frugally me and my wife so I'm gonna use a number of $30,000 and I'm gonna say that's not flexible. What this does, this is there's flexible, conservative, and stable. So what happens is, depending upon their uh, their algorithm of what happens through the year, you might take less than that, you might take more, et cetera, et cetera. I say stable because I just wanna keep it at $30,000. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click on additional inputs. And what this will do is down here you get to you get to add a bunch of stuff. So if you have a pension, you can put that in. If you have an, an annuity, you can put that in. If you have expenses or you know if you have other savings, the stuff 
things like that. Um, all I'm going to do is make it really simple. I'm going to say we have Social Security, and we're going to start it at age 62 for both me and my wife. And we are going to say, we're just going to say we get about $12,000 a year. And we'll click on, it'll say track inflation, that's fine. And we'll put uh, add row. So now I want to put in my Social Security, and let's just say I die. Jerry's going to kick the bucket at age 80, and he gets the same amount of Social Security. And we'll click on Add Row. Then we hit Close, and then we'll come up here and hit Run, and see what, what it thinks. Hit Run, and boom! You get a probability excess at 97%. Uh, initial portfolio value of 15,000, which is this. Uh, port vote, port, uh, portfolio value at retirement, which is age 62, 294,000. You'll see that you basically never run out of money. Now, of course, that's $30,000. That's for us. Um, it might not be for you. Um, but again, you can go here to the additional inputs, put in, you know, all your different medical expenses, housing, or other expenses, etc., etc., that you uh, that you foresee. But I think this is this is a, a, a great tool that those people that say that you need a million dollars and you can't live on Social Security, etc., etc. Well. I just proved them wrong because at age 62 you can see you never run out of money now at age 80 when I kick the bucket growth slows and you can see that taxable portfolio still gets lower and lower as the years go on but my wife never runs out of money now let's say I don't have YouTube money and I'm just doing it for fun because I'm like that um, and let's see what happens if I don't have that $300 a month what would happen still not a big deal 91% probability of success and we never run out of money now what you could do is what I was thinking about is what if you can run these different scenarios what if um, I don't take my Social Security until 70 and that goes to the end of the plan and let's say I get I'm just using round numbers here $24,000 let's update that row so here we have me getting Social Security or my wife getting Social Security at 62, 12,000 a year, ends at 80 when I die, and then my Social Security kicks in at 70 and it goes forever because when I die at 80, she'll kick into that. So let's close that, hit run, and there you go. My wife, if I if I were to do that, my wife would be more secure in her retirement and she'd leave a bunch of money to our kids or she can go on a world cruise for life anyway this is what I wanted to share with you today um, I'll leave a link down in the show notes to show you to for you to link to this and and you can run your own numbers and rely on your numbers don't rely on everybody else's numbers because it's your numbers that matter you know you don't need a million dollars look I just showed I, I know it was basic but two hundred fifty thousand dollars at age 62 you know what me and my wife can live comfortably I mean we're not high on the hog type people so run your numbers don't rely on the media telling you you need a million dollars you need this and that and you're gonna stress yourself out and and kill yourself 
high blood pressure, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, don't do it. Just run your numbers. You're probably most likely just fine. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.